five, four, three, two, one. What is up, the world? What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some more Astroneer. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for showing your support on all the stuff and things. I appreciate it very much. Make sure if you like the video that you see today, please don't forget. Don't stop the slide. Ah. Show your support and smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you're having fun, subscribe for more. You guys, yesterday, stuff and things were happening. We found the core. And while we found the core, we also made an unbelievable and amazing discovery. Astronium. Solving the world's by eight. I lived! I can't believe it! What the hell just happened? I can't believe I survived! Our Astronium Discovery has solved our bites issue. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to survive the unsurvivable and walk up and down this very long hallway several times. So there, right there, 8,000 more bites. I think Astronium is game-breaking. We've already got 11,000 just from what we brought up before. Uh, this is kind of unbelievable and amazing. So the first thing that we're going to do today is try to take advantage of this unbelievable and amazing deal, getting all this astronium back up to the surface. Uh, I'm thinking maybe next time I'll try to bring a medium storage down with me so that I can go ahead and bring up eight more, 16,000 total research at one time. I can't even believe it, man. Like we will be able to, with the astronium quickly see that it was shiny it was like blinking i don't know what that was but we will be able to very very quickly most likely research everything in the game that you need i mean i can't even believe i didn't know about this uh earlier and yeah it's a cool discovery that i made some of you guys may already know about it i didn't know about it or i i think maybe when we were streaming somebody had mentioned it and then we just never really went back to do it again we just never really bothered um it's a hell of a walk to get up and down here to do this and you know, we were streaming a couple of days ago, and uh, one of the devs from Astroneer popped into the stream, and we were talking about improvements to make to the game. And I can tell you, man, I feel like at the time, I was like, I really don't know. I don't think there's a lot of things that I would change. Now, kind of thinking back, there are some really cool ideas that we had on the stream and some really cool ideas that I've had since then. Um, I think a giant soil container... Like this guy, well, you can't even see right there. That, our little soil container right there. If you could do a giant one about like double the size of, say, um, a medium battery, I think that would be amazing. Large batteries would be amazing. Um, tools that allow you to like uh, create land or slope land at angles that you can predetermine would be amazing. So like a, an attachment for, your, for our suck weapon there. That would allow us to like say, all right, I want a 45 degree angle. And you could just like say 45 degrees and then bam, everything that you try to use that suck gun on is 45 degree angle would be unbelievable and amazing. Uh, elevators or teleporters that would be for maybe not even for the guy, but at least for resources uh, and not like interplanetary teleporters, but teleporters just on the planet would be unbelievable and amazing. I'd love to see some stuff like that. And there, there is a roadmap. I haven't looked at it recently. I know that there are some cool new things on the way for this game. But yeah, those are some of the ideas that I had. I don't know. If you have, if you guys have ideas, things that you think that could make Astroneer better, post them in the comment section down there, man. Let me know what you guys think. Just suggestions. Not things that are OP. You know, try to be less OP. But things that are that you think would be really cool and make the game a lot better. I think that we would love to hear what those would be. So, all right, we made our way all the way back up over here. Let's go ahead and get, what do we got here, man? Research. Hold on, let's try to see, let's zoom out a touch here. There we go. Feels good, team. Come over to this guy right here. We'll angle uh, one of these. Look at this guy right there. Six, uh, four, five, <laughs> six. Nailed the ace to KB stop. So that will be 17,000 research. This only takes two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to get all six of these guys going, and then I want to show you how this looks, man. Check this out. Oh, 
Wait, F that away? Thank you. Look at that, man. Dude, it's going at a million miles an hour. It's going at six, well, 6,000 bytes every two and a half minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. I love that sound so much. Let's hear it again. I want to hear the sound. Oh, there it is. Feels good team. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, the amazing sound of Astronium providing me with the knowledge to unlock the keys to the universe. He's done it, ladies and gentlemen, and 35,000 bytes. What? That's right. Oh my God, you guys, we've got a plan now. We Wait, we need a plan now. Have we got a plan? Do we need a plan? Also, look at our power system. We were running those six guys nonstop for, I think, two, uh, two full Astronium apiece. And the power system held up just great. It was unbelievable and amazing. Now, what are we doing? Unlocking stuff and things. First and foremost, this guy right here, Hydrazine Thruster. The solid fuel thruster is freaking butts. We need the Hydrazine Thruster. It's way better. He's done it. Next order of business. Uh, No, let's wait a second here. Let's take a look. All of these guys are good. Okay, we're G's on that. Nah, nah, none of that stuff's really that important, I don't think. Solar array. Nah. Large shuttle. Let's skip the medium shuttle. Bam, he's done it. Large shuttle. Nails it. Ace the cave. He stopped. Also, RTG. Yeah, we can't make it, but why not? Bam. And we still have 18,000 bytes left, you guys. This is friggin' crazy. All right, so first things first. Uh, hydrazine thruster in the small printer, tungsten and titanium alloy. Now, these aren't things that we have. We need titanite and wait, do we even have, we have tungsten right here. But we need titanite. There's two ways that we can get it. We can go to the planet that has the titanium. Is that zinc? No, titanium. Wait, what? Tungsten and titanium alloy. Give me this. Give me the titanium. Wait, have we already done this? Are we already ready to go? Are we GTGs? Oh, wait, also... What's up with that, man? Tell me we have some resin. Feels good. Okay, you guys don't belong here. What are you doing over there, man? Let's move these guys up over here like so. Do you have enough stuff and things to make something? Let's wait. So that's going to make resin. I just want to make a couple more medium platforms for over here. Uh, but the biggest thing we want to do is sort of titanium. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to make it. I know why. All right. So titanium alloy is going to require us to have a gas. So nitrogen. Uh, we're going to need the atmospheric condenser. Let's talk about it. Bam. No. Wait here. No. Atmospheric condenser made in a medium printer, plastic, glass, and iron. Okay. Cancel. Cancel. Let's go back over here. Put these guys in their appropriate spots. Uh, titanium, like so. Tungsten. <laughs> uh, one, two... Well, actually, let's put these guys like this. Let's do one of these deals here. It's going to be way more effective this way. Like so. Like so. Like so. There's those. There's those. So we're trying to make some medium deals here. Medium storage. Medium storage. Nailed it. Escape stop. All right. So those guys are good to go over there. Again, we need plastic, glass, and iron. Now, I don't think we've gone to the planet we need to get the iron from copper now we could use the trade platform and scrap or we could just go there and i feel like going there is going to be our best bet let's grab these guys let's go ahead and make two more like so like so dude i thought we got iron i could have swore we had some maybe we used it all up let's just take a look around here just a little bit more just to make sure it's bright bright red no, we don't have any, man. All right, so we're going to need some of this stuff and things. Wait, don't do that. Where did we? And then atmospheric condenser. Plastic and glass as well. So let's just pop inside of here real quick and see. What are we going to need to make plastic and glass? Also, for those of you who want a sick update, we are now running at 78% not sick. Uh, so some things are going pretty good. Don't worry about me. Plastic. Carbon and compound. Dude, I can do that. We can make this. We can make this happen right here. Compound, carbon, let's make the plastic. At least we can get part the way there. You know what I'm saying? Bam, bam, like so. 
making the plastic. He's done it. All right, those guys are good. We got the rest of our medium storages up and running like so. Plant that guy right over there like that. I just like to do a little cleanup while stuff and things are happening over here. Ding! Sweet! Hot plastic action has been made. Then the other piece was, remember, glass. Let's take a look here. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what am I stupid? Glass is just glass. We don't need anything. We have glass right here. That's just refined quartz. So let's just go ahead and put it over here. That's the 22% uh, sick talking. All right, so other than those things, then all we need is the iron. So if we're going to go to another planet to find it, and I do believe it's called Wolframite, uh, right there, DeSolo is the place we need to go. Uh, have we already made a deal on DeSoto? Dude, I can't even remember. This is why we need this, because if we can get all these things up and running, then we can just use the hydrazine thruster, and it's way better, man. We can go to and fro uh, so much more simply without having to do all the stuff and things. Uh, let's go like this. Feels good, team. And then I just want to grab... Do we have a beacon? I just want to grab a beacon real quick if we're going to go to the solo. Do we have quartz? You're killing me, game! You're killing me, man. All right. That's why we saved this stuff right over here. Hot quartz action. I think there's some down at the bottom of our tunnel to the core, but I'm not going to run all the way down there to get it. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and wait for this quartz. We're going to make the beacon. We're just going to go ahead and head over to DeSolo. I can't remember if we have a forward operating base there or not. So I'm just going to go scout it out and see what's going on. And with this lowly solid rocket fuel booster... Our intrepid adventurer Slipgator headed into space, but not to DeSolo to get hematite, which would be for tungsten. No, ladies and gentle peeps. Instead, he heads for Novus so that we can get Novus stuff and things. Aatrox, Kalidor, Glacio, Vesnia, Novus. Difficulty medium, resources, hematite for iron. Let's go team! All right, so we uh, we definitely didn't go to DeSolo and then set up an entire base there and then mine a bunch of Wolframite and then bring it back to base before we realized that it was Hematite that we needed. No, that did not happen. Bam! We're landed right here, baby, right by the teleporter deal. We're gonna be setting up our forward operating base here on Novus for Hematite so that we can get iron. Now, what a beautiful little area we've discovered. And he's landed. Now, we brought some different stuff with us this time. Instead of what I had previously told you we had packed, I brought the soil centrifuge with me. Um, over inside of here, we have a medium platform A. And an oxygenator. Now, we're going to need to find some resin. Found it. Uh, in order to get stuff and things going, we have two wind turbines, two solars, and two medium batteries. Uh, as well as the soil centrifuge here to get stuff and things started off. Now, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of, well, that battery. Wait, what? Okay, something's happening. We're being bombarded. We're being bombarded by this plant right here. Terrible disaster. Are we alive? Is there air? Okay, this place is hostile. Holy crap, man. A uh, little bit of hot research action. 131 bytes. All right, so right over here, first and foremost. All the compound stuff and things for tether. Rip the geyser. And we're good. All right, so let's pop back over here, and then we can start tethering our way out. So, like so. Pardonnez-moi. No, 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 wait, wait. Small generator? Yeah, yeah, let's make a small generator. Might as well start things off with a bang. Thankfully, we had this little battery that we found. It's a good little find right there. It's worth this guy right behind here. And even though we can't see, we'll hook it up like so. Next order of business. Tether bundle. Let's make two. And we already have some hot power action. And some extra compound stuff and things. Feels good, team. Now, uh, we might as well take care of business. And then go like so. We're going to need power. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick that guy on right now. Resin, resin. What are you? Oh, dangerous tongue creature. 
Is there more underneath? Well, we've got a whole bunch ish. Uh, squirt that over there. Pick this guy up right here. Like so to make room. All right, now we can start creating some platforms to create the power system to make all the stuff and things work. It will be an amazing and unbelievable adventure. So let's pop these guys over here like this. Uh, we are also going to need, let's put all these guys out of here. More power stuff and things. Small printer. And he's done it. All right. I'm going to start making this place into a base, man. The Novus basic forward operating base is complete-ish. All right. So let's pop this guy off right here. Check this out, man. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Flatten this guy out a little bit. Made a kind of nice-ish flat area. And then what we're going to do, I'm just going to angle this kind of over here like so. Like so. And then, bam. Oh, my God. It's going to take a huge amount of power. Holy crap, man. Dude, we're going to annihilate our power system by opening the stupid research we don't need. <laughs> All right. So, that'll be good. We'll get it out. We'll get it done. It's going to be great. All right. So, soil centrifuge like so. Unpack that bad hombre. Stick some more free power on the free power deal. Uh, let's grab both of these guys. And we're going to set our wind power up right over here. Just for now. Just because it's easiest. All right, we got a research item, which we don't really need. We have Astronium on the home world, so it's no big whoop. Uh, let's disconnect this guy. And then, can I pick that up? Goodbye. Goodbye. No one will ever know. Let's make sure it's not going to make a terrible noise the entire time. There we go. Just like that, like it never happened. All right, soil centrifuge is running. No wind or solar power at the moment. The sun rises and sets here really, really quickly. Oh, and we've put all of our solar power in the shadow of the planet. Uh, I bet you if we go... Okay, now it's got it. Wait, what? That just happened? Oh, because it knew there was sun and then it, like, said, nope, there isn't any sun. We got we to gotta change the direction that we built our base in or we're going to miss out on a bunch of the day's power. We're going to have to put the solar stuff and things over here. Uh, so small printer, medium printer, oxygenator, power system stuff and things, soil centrifuge. Uh, we have a little bit of some tether action here, and we're kind of out of compound for the moment. Um, although I would love to set up an unbelievable and amazing base here to start off with, we're going to very simply just start digging down. Uh, let me pop over. I don't want to go too close. I don't want to go too far. Maybe right here. This looks like a decent spot. We need to find a nice angle. This looks good to me. All right. It's a little bit of a shallow angle, but we'll take it. Like so. And then down into the depth we go. On the search for hematite stuff and things. And after digging and discovering an amazing cave, our intrepid adventurer found a shiny red substance. Hematite! That's right, ladies and gentle peeps. He's done it. We found it. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure we have some hot power action over here. There we go. Feels good, team. I don't think we're going to need all these tethers anymore. Let's just go ahead and drop those on the ground right there. And I want to bring 16 of these guys home with us. Oh, come on, man. That's it. I was really hoping we could find more. At least eight total. Damn it all the heck. You guys see any more red stuff and things around? I think we're going to need some of these. All right. It's not going to be that easy, man. When I went, when I accidentally went to DeSolo and was getting the tungsten, I got so much so fast. It was crazy. But here, it looks like I may have to do a little bit more exploring to find all the stuff and things that we're going to need. Ah, with Hemantite, Hemantite? With Hematite in tow, we are back at our home planet. And feels good, team. Another solid thruster. And the last solid thruster. I'm going to put this over here for the potential scrap stuff and things. The last solid thruster is GTG. Let's grab this guy right here. This guy right here. Squirt that guy on there. I only ended up bringing 15 home with me just to save a little bit of time. I only could find 15, and then I was like, yeah, 
We spent a lot of time today going to the wrong planet, but you guys didn't know that because it didn't happen. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Uh, but now, ladies and gentle peeps, hot iron action. Hey! Yoinking that out of there like so. And remember, this was for, again, the atmospheric condenser deal. Is that medium printer? It surely is. Bam. Atmospheric condenser. He's done it. Now, do we have enough? We do right here. Let's go like so, like so, and like so. And then let us go ahead and start that platform there. All right. We're making moves, peeps. We're going to squirt this guy right over here on the other side of our area. Extending and expanding our sexually attractive base place. Uh, crap, I didn't need to make that. I already have this guy. Well, now we have another, another extra. All right, so this guy pop over here like so. Maybe like, uh, so. Let me see, unpack. How's this gonna work? Feels meh. Not exactly what we're looking for. Maybe more like this. Yeah, better. All right, sweet. Now we'll grab this guy right here. Squirt it on there. Oh, atmospheric condensing stuff and things are happening. Now, we have two medium deals over here. We're going to go ahead and grab these guys. And then I'm going to show you how this bad ombre works. Like this and like this. Now, if you remember correctly, I do believe the entire reason that we're doing this all the way back down the rabbit hole to the beginning was for the RTG, right? That's what we were trying to do. So RTG stuff and things was lithium, which we can make, and nanocarbon alloy. So we pop inside of here and go back to our nanocarbon alloy. We need helium. Helium? Helium. Can we get helium here? Nitrogen, argon, methane, nitrogen, sulfur, helium. No! Insufficient concentrations. So wait, we can only get hydrogen and nitrogen? All right. Hydrogen. Let's go ahead and start doing those guys. Well, wait. Before we were trying to do the RTS, pardon me, we were trying to complete this bad ombre back over here, remember? Before I forget the hydrazine thruster. Where are you? Titanium alloy and tungsten. All right, did we already bring the tungsten over? We didn't. Well, we have tungsten for days. Let's grab that bad ombre. Squirt him over here like so. Titanium alloy. Nitrogen. What are you making right now? Hydrogen. Nitrogen. And then what else are we going to need? Titanium and graphene. Do we have any more titanium left? Oh, baby, we surely do. Now, there's a surprise. I'm surprised that we had that. And then also, now we're going to need to make the graphene. Graphene is graphite and hydrazine. In order to make the hydrazine, we need hydrogen, ammonium, and ammonium. Hydrogen? Do we have ammonium? You guys, there's so much. This rabbit hole starts to get so humongous, man. Ammonium? An ammonium. All right. So we're on our way. Now, a really good spot, I do believe, for ammonium is the solo, I think. Uh, it says phalarite. I found a lot of ammonium there. I think it might be a good spot to go hang out at and try to get some more stuff and things, but not until we at least get the hydrogen thruster up and running. Um, so these guys are spinning down the ammonium now. Come on. Let's go, team. We need an improved soil centrifuge that works. 25% faster. I know you're ready. Give it to me. One. And a two. All right. So those are GTG over here now. Like so. Wait, what? Going too fast. I'm getting too excited. Hydrazine. Now we're going to need graphite, which we do have right there. All right, now when this guy's done with that one, let's go ahead and switch back. Stop. Hydrogen. There we go. All right, this guy's done like so. Now, back inside of here. Graphene. And we're sucking up some hydrogen. One of the things that kind of stinks about this machine, the atmosphere condenser, is that while it's plugged in, it always makes noise, regardless of if it's gathering stuff and things or not. All right, graphene. Nailed it, Ace the Campy Stop. Titanium alloy. Nitrogen, graphene, titanium. Oh, my God. He's done it! Oh, my God! 
I can't even believe it. We're about to make this. We have the tungsten right over here. The hydrogen thruster, thruster words is going to be a thing. Ding! Like so. Huge technological step forward now. The next order of business. We're going to need some more ammonium. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to do stuff and things. That's right. Let's show you. The unbelievable and amazing hydrazine thruster. I'm going to squirt it in there. No, no. Don't launch. Oh, wait. You can't launch. There's no rocket, lol. There it is. But it looks just exactly the same as the other thruster. Wait, but wait. It's not. One, two, three hydrazine. Bring these guys over here. Now, when we squirt these guys onto the thruster, like so... This guy is a reusable deal. We don't have to just, uh, you know, set it, forget it. Use it once and throw it away. We can land on multiple planets with this. More than three, probably, before we would even need to refuel. So, secret mission to DeSolo that you didn't see complete. Uh, mission to Novus to grab all the iron stuff and things. Nail that ace that can't be stopped. Hydrazine thruster. Uh, operational and research, 18,000 bytes, baby. And we've learned pretty much all the things that we want to learn. So pretty cool, man. Our progression in the game continues. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today, guys. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget to show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. If you had a good time, uh, subscribe for more stuff and things. Huge shouts to people who support over at patreon.com slash flipgator. You guys make stuff and things happen. You're amazing, and may the stuff of things be with you!